Hey there, so it's day two of our family road trip up to Northern California. Yesterday we rented a 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe SE. It's actually a base model. Um, it's been pretty nice so far. We went to the San Luis Wildlife Refuge just outside of Los Banos, and uh, that was a ton of fun. We saw elk, saw tons of dragonflies, hundreds of thousands of mosquitoes, but overall it was just a great first day to our family road trip. And today we're going to be heading to this place called Curie Odyssey, which is a children's science museum and uh, nature center, and uh, hopefully my daughter really digs it. That's just out in Redwood City, not too far from here. So that's what we're gonna do today, have some kid time, and then we're gonna head back on the road and head out to Redding, California, which is uh, gonna continue our, our journey to another nature-y area called Turtle Bay Exploration Center. So my wife got up super early this morning to come out here and take pictures of the birds that were out here. It really pays to get up early if you want to see a lot of wildlife activity. It's also really nice that the hotel is directly adjacent to this water right here. Quite peaceful. All right, let's go get loaded up and get on the road. Do you like this car? Uh, no. What do you like better? I like my car better. Where are we going? To Harry Ivy. Right, we just finished up that Curiodicy. I'd recommend it to anybody that's got young kids if you're in the San Francisco area. It's a great place to go, lots of learning activities, really cool animals. Um, we got to see the river otters get fed. My favorite thing was that little standing wave generator they had with the two speakers pointed towards each other and the little uh, styrofoam balls in the middle. I totally want to make one of those for myself for no, no reason at all. It was really cool. Yeah, and really just the location of this place is fantastic. And you can see the airplanes coming in to land at San Francisco Airport, which is pretty neat. Which one's our rental? Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? Okay, we've traveled about 200, 250 miles, something like that, to Redding, California. And uh, now we're here at the Sheraton Hotel, ready to start our adventures here. But the problem is, you see, on our way here, we determined that the place that we wanted to go to, the Turtle Bay Exploration Center, changed their hours for the winter. It's not winter, but they changed their hours and they're actually gonna be closed tomorrow. They've switched to winter hours, even though technically it's still summer but anyway this is an opportunity it's an opportunity to find some new things that we didn't even really expect to happen so i think we might actually head out to a ghost town tomorrow we'll see but it's gonna be different than our original plan all right 2020 hyundai excel this isn't an excel this is a santa fe must have 80s cars on my mind or something Anyway, let's turn this thing on, it's hot. So this is day two of our road trip. I figured I'd give you a little rundown on how it's been going with this 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe. We've traveled 636.6 .6 miles so far and 
we've averaged 26.2 miles per gallon over the course of the whole trip. Today, we actually did a little bit better um, because we weren't in as many hills. Um, we actually did almost 28 miles per gallon. I feel like that's pretty, pretty good for, for a, a vehicle of this size. Of course, it's not gonna match, you know, like the RAV4 hybrid or anything like that, but it's, it's not terrible. It's actually pretty quiet, pretty comfortable on the freeway. It soaks up the bumps pretty well. It's got a ton of leg room for a vehicle of this class. I feel like this is, you, know, you gotta imagine that this is not a, quite a small SUV. This is almost a midsize, it's kind of in between. Um, so there's a lot of space in this vehicle, which is really nice for me. I'm six foot three. I kind of need a lot of leg room, kind of need a lot of arm room. So uh, this vehicle fits me perfectly. And I don't even have to have my seat all the way back to fit comfortably. My wife was saying that when she was driving this car, she actually prefers the seats in her Prius better than this one. They're not bad, but just those Prius seats are pretty comfortable. One nice thing is a lot of USB ports in this car. There's, there's two right here in the front and there's actually two right behind the center console here. So this Santa Fe is a base model, so you're not getting any dual climate controls, but me personally, I like the simplicity of just a fan, temperature, in position. That's actually my favorite kind of climate control. So in this case, having a base model actually works better for me. The infotainment system is great. Thumbs up Hyundai, it's it's wonderful. We've been using Apple CarPlay and it's really responsive, works great. Everything that's built into the infotainment is responsive and it works great. I know some people complain about the home button being kind of too far on the right over here, but I've got long arms so that doesn't really bother me. All right, enough about the car. I think we're gonna go and try to plan out our day for tomorrow. We still don't exactly know what we're gonna be doing. That's it for day two and the family road trip to Northern California in our 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe. We'll see you tomorrow for day three.